Well, folks, I just wanted to show you this little setup that I have here. Uh, this was very much uh, improvised at the last minute before I went away. Um, so I'm just back from Spain. Uh, I spent 10 days there and have uh, a lot of pots here in the polytunnel that uh, need to be watered uh, during that time. Now, some fare better than others. For example, I didn't water this and it was fine. But this one here uh, is an exception. This is my um, ground cherry or a uh, Cape gooseberry. And this is a variety called Jameson, which is exceptionally vigorous. Uh, this, is a this is its second year that I've had it. Um, and I've potted it up this year. It's taken over this pot and you can see the height of it now. And um, now before I went away, I'd um i'd drench this every two days if i didn't drench it every two days it would drop over uh, it goes through an unreal uh, amount of water so uh, just by pure chance i had this bucket and i had a capillary mat that i found at the back of my garden so i decided to fill up the bucket and then stick all these potted plants onto the capillary mat including this um ground cherry now i filled this bucket up yesterday this is this much has gone from it now Maybe the video doesn't do it justice, but that's a lot of water. So this is actually drinking a huge amount of water. But you can see all of this lush, healthy growth. Uh, and uh, this is obviously doing very, very well as well. It's actually very big. Um, so uh, what I'm going to do is do this, keep this um, going for next year. Probably I improvise a bigger uh, setup uh, because I have so many plants in pots. That sometimes it's so hard to keep uh, abreast of the water and particularly with my figs and um, if there's one thing that i'm really really poor at, uh, and that's uh, making sure my plants or potted plants are watered i'm desperate for under watering plants particularly figs because i know they don't like wet feet um and this seems to be the solution and i, I have to say it's worked so so well um, and even if you have a plant that like maybe uh, cape gooseberries that are heavy drinkers it'll work really really well the only downside to it is that there's nothing stopping the roots from growing into the mats when i pull this out you can see all of them growing into the mat so i have to find something that i could possibly put uh, above the mat and um, to stop roots going into it uh but what that will also allow the uh, the moisture pass through it um i think there's a company called autopots that do uh, these copper um i don't know what you call them discs at the end of their pot so i wonder if there's a larger version of that could I, that i could use but going forward i'm definitely going to be using this it's a fantastic method method particularly if you're growing in a greenhouse and you have lots of pots and if you're like me you're not on top of your watering uh, then it's a, uh, a extremely helpful anyway there you go that's uh, the capillary mat watering method